Today I'm going to be giving you a completely free automation that can save you hundreds of hours every single month by creating automated daily unique content for your social media. And this isn't some generic AI content because each platform has its own GPT prompt that will create unique trending content specific for that platform. All I ask in return is for you to smash the like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into the video. So let me quickly explain why this is the newest and best content automation that I've ever made. So all you need to do is literally type out the social media platform that you want to post content onto and it's going to automatically start the workflow, create unique trending content for that specific platform. So let's say you wanted to post onto Instagram. All you need to do is just run the automation and it's going to create the content and then post it onto that platform specifically. Think about how insane that is. Or let's say you want to do LinkedIn. You can you know, type LinkedIn and it can automatically start the workflow. But let's just use emails as an example, because I know some of you are sending emails. You can click that, run the automation. Obviously, you can just set the automation for a certain time of the day, and it will run on autopilot. And you can see that it's gone down to this specific router, and it has posted a subject line. It's got the email newsletter right here, highly engaged. This is an actual good newsletter that is just created. It literally just put this in here right now. Insane. And you can see that it's even got the call to action. So schedule a time with me here. It's got the booking link, right? It's got another email. So let's talk about strategies to scale your business. So it's absolutely wild. And let's just dive into the actual build out. So the first place you're going to go is make.com. It's a completely free, no code automation platform that you can build killer automations like I do all the time. And the best part is it's completely free and you can stay on the free plan for as long as you want. So quickly log in and once you've created an account, you can then go to the top right once it loads and create a new scenario. Now I'm feeling generous. I'm actually going to give you the automation that I just showed you this one right here for free, no strings attached. It'll be the first link in the description just to say thank you for watching my videos. So you can download it and import it straight away by clicking on these three dots and then importing the blueprint that we give you. Now, I highly, highly suggest that you just watch this video so you understand how it works, right? It's, you know, there's no good me just giving you an automation then you, you, know, you, you run into an error or something happens. So you need to understand and watch this video. So keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is speed run this entire automation. So we are going to search for set variable. Now, this will make sense in a second, but this is going to be the social media that we want to post onto. So you would put social media and then this would be the social media that you would type out. Now we can leave that as blank for now, but cl quickly click save. And then we're going to add something called an RSS feed. If you don't know what an RSS feed is, it basically takes the latest trending content, news articles, blogs from any platform you can imagine. And it's going to be able to repurpose that trending content specifically for the platform that you want to post content onto. So what you're going to do is actually go to this website called rss.app. That's the simple URL. And you're going to create a completely free account. I think you get a week free. So it's amazing. Um, and you can quickly yeah, log in. As you can see, I've got mine right here. So I recommend doing YouTube X. Now very easily, all you need to do is just click on the one that you want. Enter, you know, the LinkedIn URL or X URL. So for example, if we do X, you can just search for your niche. So let's say you were creating fitness content or let's say for my case, I want to create the most trending content about AI. So I can do something like AI automation and I can generate a feed and this will be done in literally five seconds. And as you can see, I've got the latest content about AI right here. It's going to give you an actual link. So you see this link right here, you can copy it. And you can very easily just paste it into make.com and just put the maximum number that you want to get from that list. So, you know, this could be five, it could be 10, it could be 20. Let's just keep it simple and do 10. Now, boom. So we are actually almost done. All we're going to do now is add a chat GPT and it's going to be created a uh, completion. Now, you will need to add your API key in here. It's super easy. All you need to do is go to, I think, openai slash assistance. Um, there's actually online help right here that you can get in make.com. So it yeah tells you how to do it. So you need to open you know an account. You need to get your organization ID and your API key, right? Very simple. Once you've done that, you can very easily click on this, select the model that you want. So let's just go for this one. GPT 
Now we are going to add a message right here and the role is going to be assistant and we're going to put something like create a 150 word summary of the latest news around my niche. Here is the, um, yeah, here's the like content or here's the, um, the feed. And then we can simply put in the, the feed right here. So that is perfect. Obviously you can put this as like 400 or something small. So continuously save your workflows, very important you save them. And now what this will do is we will put in whatever social media we want to post onto. So let's just use like Instagram and it is going to, yeah, use this URL. It's going to give that URL to ChatGPT to create a summary. Now this summary is just to simplify, to simplify it pretty much. Um, but you don't have to have this step. And then now we're going to add a router. This router allows us to basically send this information in terms of the summary to multiple different GPTs for each specific social media, like I mentioned at the start of this video. So this could be X, it could be LinkedIn, it could be Instagram, it could be Facebook, you name it, make.com can do it. So if we do X, for example, you'd click on it, you would create a post as an example, and obviously make a connection. So that could be one social media channel that you want to post onto. Another one could be LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, create a user text post. Perfect. Obviously, this will make sense in a second. Let's just uh, put something for now. We can obviously change that later. Another one could be, I recommend doing a Google document like I just showed you at the start in terms of my explanation. And then it would be like insert a paragraph to document. And the reason I like doing that, um, obviously you can just select the place in which you want to put the output. So let's just use this one, which is the, uh, the same one. Now, I want to essentially leave this as it is because we're going to add our own GPT to each one right now. So what you're going to do is very simply add a module, right? And it's going to be open AI, create a chat completion. And once it loads, select the module, just like what we did for the first one. But then instead of creating a summary, we're going to create the prompt of what we want it to do for posting onto X. So for example, we can select assistant and we can say that your job is to post a one sentence update of trending AI news from this summary, right? And then it's going to be the result that we get from here, right? If that makes sense, because that is summarized from this RSS feed. So once you click OK, that is perfect. So yeah, you can obviously save it as you go. Now we want to do the same thing for this one. So add a module, same thing. So create a chat completion, obviously give it a second to load model GPT 4.0 and the, yeah, add a message assistant. Then you're going to say something like your job is to post to LinkedIn, right? And then you can just write whatever you want. So, um, make it, I don't know, a hundred words or a hundred word thread providing value you get the point right you can play around with the actual output i recommend putting it into a google doc into a google document first before you actually upload it to social media but you know it's your your decision at the end of the day you could do Airtable as well so click ok um obviously you can save it save anyway just make sure you connect your social medias um and now what we're going to do is just one final one so add a module this would be gpt create chat completion because i think you get the point right we basically just put a different ChatGPT for each one. But now the part that you are probably most looking forward to, let's just quick, uh, uh, let's just click OK. Okay, add a message, uh, let's do assistant, just something for now. Um, now the part that you need, right, is because you're probably thinking, how does this work, right? How do you put a social media platform here and it's gonna go to the specific one? Well, we simply set up filters. So we can set up a filter and we can call this, um, let's call this social media social media, you can keep that as no. And then the condition is going to be social media and then contains the social media. So for this case, it could be Instagram, right? Instagram. So what this, oh, sorry, this one, it would be X obviously. So X or Twitter. So that whenever we type X, obviously make sure you save it. Whenever you click X here, so X, right? It's gonna automatically go to this, this branch, right? 
very, very important you set up these filters, otherwise it won't go to the specific channel that you want. Or let's do this one. We would set up a filter, do the same thing. Social media condition is going to be the search term. And then it has to contain the phrase LinkedIn, right? If we want to post onto LinkedIn. So now let's just do one more and let's have this one as uh, yeah, the same thing of social media, obviously. Condition, same thing, search term. This one could be email. So now if we put, let's do X, right? And click OK. I think uh, you obviously need to connect your account, but let's just unlink this to show you what it will do. It will basically use the RSS feed, the information of the latest news articles in, in your niche. It's gonna go to that specific branch as I've just shown you, and it's gonna have created an output, which you can find right here by going to operation. You can go down to choices, plus one, message, and then you've got your content right here. And you can obviously tweak this. As you can see, it's continuously posting new tweets that you know, this could go into an Airtable or Google Doc. I would recommend doing that before you actually post it so you can sort of filter out the ones that you'd like or don't like. Let's just stop it because we don't want to run anymore. But you get the point. It's just created eight tweets, right? As you can see, go down to plus one message. So businesses are increasingly into AI to streamline um, workflows and boost in innovation inspired by. Yeah, so you get the point, right? You can obviously make the actual article better. Um, you can get a better RSS feed. You could use blogs instead of Twitter. But this is the premise for the automation. It's very, very powerful stuff. Now, very quickly, just an extra bit of insight. You can actually go onto ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT, give me five questions about my business so you can make better content for me. Because the reason most people's content sucks when it comes from GPT is because it doesn't have enough context around you and your business. Of course, it's gonna make bad generic content. Whereas if you actually answer each one of these five questions and then give that, to the prompt in your make.com automation, it will give you such better outputs. You can see right here that it could be something like this. I'll just show you what I put as an example. So for email, I said, act as a seven figure copywriter who writes highly engaged emails to my list. Obviously you could you know, change this. You could say something like act as a seven figure copywriter who writes highly engaged LinkedIn threads or tweets, right? But then you want to tell ChatGPT that I've put five key things below for context about my business to help you. And then you just answer the five questions that ChatGPT has given you. So then it, it can actually create good content. Please do that. Otherwise it will give you bad outputs. And then as I mentioned before, I would ideally make sure it goes to Google Sheets or Airtable so you can approve it before you post it to the social media or you know, once you approve it, it then posts automatically for you. So that's just a quick pointer. And you can obviously make this run at a certain time each day just put whatever social media you want to post onto. Hopefully that explains the uh, automation well enough for you to actually go into the first thing in the description, download it, import it, so it will populate like this, and then you can actually adapt. You can obviously take it 10 times better than this. Um, but hopefully this inspired you and it gave you something to play around with and save you a bunch of time. Just drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy and have an amazing day.